know, Malaysia uh, has uh, a history of democracy that has to be preserved. And, you know, I have a very good relationship with the Prime Minister Najib, and we are close partners and cooperating on a whole host of issues. Uh, I think that Malaysia, like all our countries, Democracy is not just elections, but it's how open and transparent and accountable government is between elections. And it's important that free speech, freedom of the press, uh, an independent judiciary, uh, the right to assemble peacefully, that all those rights are observed to make democracy work. It is, and how clear the evidence is, that that is all subject to scrutiny. Uh, because what you don't want is a situation in which the legitimacy of the process is questioned. That has an adverse impact on democracy as a whole. And I think we all have to guard against making sure that there's not a chilling effect on potential opposition in government. So, you know, uh, as I always point out, democracy is hard. If democracy was to work, then you had to uh, respect the rights of even those people who you disagreed most with, because otherwise there's no way that uh, a democracy can flourish over the long term. challenges. We will confront hardships, but we will get the job done. Every four years, we gather on these steps to carry out the orderly and peaceful transfer of power. And we are grateful to President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama for their gracious aid throughout this transition. They have been magnificent. Thank you. Because today, we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C., and giving it back to you, the people. is not which party controls our government, but whether our government is controlled by the people. January 20th, 2017, will be remembered as the day the people became the rulers of this nation again. <laughs>